Yo, yo, we back, episode two, vlog two, and today we talking about fruit trees. Let me show y'all what we've been doing for the past couple years and also the past couple decades. You know, they say a wise man once told me, he said, a society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they'll never sit. So we out here planting trees and sowing seeds. Y'all stay tuned. So this here is the best thing we got growing over here. This is our blackberry patch. Now this is the oldest um, fruit trees that we got growing over here. Well, it's not older than the pear trees and whatnot, but as far as like plants, vines and whatnot, this is the oldest and most mature. You can see some old dead dried up <laughs> berries right here. They, yeah, they done. So she's done producing for the year. This is probably the only one that's gonna get, that's gonna produce. Um, so I should have made videos earlier, but I won't making videos then. Now I am making videos. Next up, let's get to my banana. This is an ice cream banana tree right here. If you look it up, you'll see it puts out like some blue bananas, which look really cool. Little small blue bananas, but it looks really cool. And I'm sure they taste great. It's supposed to be very, very sweet. I just put her in the ground. Uh, I put her in the ground, what, maybe like two weeks ago? And she's growing great. I put the banana peels down there for potassium, you know, just help them grow and whatnot. Here on my vine, we got our grapes. Got our grape vine. Now, everything I already put out for the year, I probably really should have made this video like two months ago. <laughs> everything I do is late. But next year, I got you. I got you. So yeah, two grape vines. They was growing pretty good until I like stopped watering them. It's a lot going on out here, man. It's hard to like maintain everything. Right here, we got our pear tree. She didn't put out anything this year, but um, last year she put out pretty good. You know, we, man. And the pears off the tree in your yard, I mean, the grocery store pears just don't compare. It just I can't buy a pair from the grocery store. So that's another pair. And then that's another pair. So three pair of trees in a row. I think it's like a nursery rhyme or something. Like three pair of trees in a nah, I don't know. <laughs> Coming back further, we got our orange tree. My favorite fruit. One of my very, very favorite fruits. She got some oranges on her. Look at that. This is the biggest orange she done put out this year, right? Now this is a first year tree, or at least I've had it for one year. She's been in the ground for one year. So that's what I'm considering first year. I'm sure she's been growing for more than a year. <laughs> but yeah, this is my biggest orange so far. I've been plucking them little baby oranges off on the little small branches because just so they can preserve his energy. Like here go one right here. You can get the fruit. Where she at? Right there. See that? That could just come right off. We we not you not you not even gonna get big enough, cause you got to go. Anybody? Now if it's growing off of this main stalk here, I'm gonna let it rock because this is a this our source of energy right here. She gonna she you know telling what she could do. Moving on though, moving on, moving on. A tree that a lot of people really haven't seen or don't see often is our fig tree. I'm not the craziest on figs, you know, they kind of growing on me a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Which is, you know, they getting better. And we do, we got a ripe one right here. Here go on fig, look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, she right. Oh, f I done took the whole branch. Would you look at this shit? Make no sense. That don't make no sense. A hey, fig. Right. Mm. 
that's life right there. I could eat this stuff all day and be straight. Moving over here. We got our blueberry bush. Um, blueberry is on her. When did I plant these? It's second year. Yeah, it's their second year for the blueberry. She put out this year for the first time. Not much. I think all the birds ate my berries. Or the squirrels, rabbits. Somebody ate my berries. I'm tight about that. Well, if I catch them, I'm putting them up. Right next door, we got our raspberries. That's our standard red raspberries. It's growing crazy. You definitely will need a trellis for these raspberries because they will go the distance, right? So for them, we got one raspberry here, a volunteer one. It's an OG that I planted. This is our fall gold raspberry. Actually the oldest raspberry tree over here but she was initially planted somewhere else and just, she didn't like that full sun. So I had to move her over here. So she really didn't put out anything yet. <laughs> and it's her second year. But next year, I got big hopes for you. Next year, definitely. And, and that's a double crop plant. She puts out like in the spring and the fall, which is really cool. Um, here is a different species of blueberry. All the blueberries are second year. And I didn't get to eat no blueberries this year. Like none whatsoever for real. Because the animals and whatnot just ate them all up. Trellis these vines pretty good. Like, that's going to promote the growth. When you see them hanging down like that, just want to like, you want to thread them through. You know, make a nice trellis. And that promotes growth. It makes them stronger. Goodness, you I ain't caught you in a while. But you do have to be careful with these because they will break. And then you'll be upset. And you done, you done grew about tall enough so I can prune you off. Boom. Switch you around. I need to drop this banana off this in my hand. It's craziness. All right, so yeah, they all good. Another raspberry here, same deal. Another blueberry here, same deal. Three blueberries and like four raspberries. Moving on, moving on. These are my newest babies. This is my lime tree. Just put her in the ground about five days ago. Now I bought this from Home Depot, so but she looks really good though. I like the shape. I like, she's growing really well. As soon as I got her home, I put her in the ground and then I trimmed the tops of each like head of the leaf, like just so it wouldn't grow all flimsy and wobbly and whatnot. You want them to be sturdy. And here we got our lemon tree. Another one I bought her with the lime. They both same day planted and everything. Really nice. So I can't tell you much about these yet. I have to holler at you next year about these ones, but really cool plants. If you pluck a leaf off and smell it, they smell just like lemons and limes. It's crazy. So yeah, that was all my grow stuff. You know, we've been doing a lot over the past couple years. Well, over the past like couple decades, honestly, because we got trees, you know. But me personally, I just got into this um, 2020 start of the pandemic. And I gotta say, I'm grateful for it because this is life changing. Like getting into these plants and these herbs and whatnot, it's like, <laughs> it's no better feeling, man. Just, just, you know, eating what you grow. Like, what's better than eating what you grow? And I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Like, when you grow fruits and vegetables, whatever, and then you go to the grocery store and you get that stuff. It's a night and day comparison. Like I can't eat pears from the grocery store no more. I can't eat plums from the grocery store no more. Like, what is that? What are those? <laughs> you eat a fruit over here? You gotta take your shirt off to eat it cause you're gonna stain your shirt. It's so much juice inside the pear. It's like, yo, we could have a pear fight and throw pears at each other and they would just splat on your shirt. You can't do that with a grocery store pear. It's gonna knock you unconscious. You know what I'm saying? But when you got some real natural 
it's, it, it's night and day. Same with the plums. The plum, you don't even want it to fall off the tree because when they hit the ground, it's going to burst on impact. So you got to try to get them before they even fall. Like, it's crazy. You go to the grocery store and get a plum, and that joint is like, <laughs> it's a rock. It's a rock. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. But I think I showed you everything that I got today. Um, I might go out and do some scavenging just to show y'all like some wild herbs that's growing in nature that you know I'll find and, and bring back. But until then, holla.